again. All right. All right, all right, all right. Welcome to another edition of Shabbat Lounge. This is Matt. And Jake here. We're coming to you with another edition of Prove It. Uh, Jake, I believe this is episode two. Is that correct? Uh, this is episode three. Episode three. Right, because right. we had our intro there. Yep. Yep, so if you didn't watch the first two, go back and listen to those because we have a good uh, first things first. So you kind of, it's good to know definitions and be on the same page when you're... Mm-hmm. Otherwise, we'll say things that you may not know what we mean by it. Yep. So yep. Definition of terms is definitely important. Right. And uh, we appreciate you stopping by and giving us a like, a listen, subscribe, please. Um, give us a comment, a shofar, something in the comments to let us know that you did listen to us. Right. Send all your traffic from your friends through our website. And all your traffic. All of your traffic. Yes. And uh, check out the podcast. Yep, and uh, so if you're listening to this audio, there's a visual part that goes with this. We're putting this in YouTube under a playlist called Prove It. So, without further ado, prove it, Jake. Okay, so now, just the standard caveat that we re- re- we uh, uh, we retain the right to be wrong about things, yeah. <clears throat> and we don't know everything. But these are just the verses that we found that kind of point to us. Hey, we should be keeping the Torah in today's day and age. Yep. And so in this section, we're going to be dealing with things like commandments. That sounds important, Jake. Commandments. Seems important. Mm Mm-hmm. So. The Ten Commandments? uh, I hear that a lot. Yeah. However. um, There's more than ten. That's one thing. If you don't go back and read the beginning, you won't see how often he says that I command you this day. Mm -hmm. It's not just the Ten Commandments. He quote unquote commands. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but let's just get right into it then. All right. Jump into it. Number nine. We are continuing a numbering here. Um, This one is 1 John 2, 3 through 4. And hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments, he that saith, I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. Well, I don't want to be that guy. I don't either. And I'll tell you what, when I first got into keeping Torah practice, my Torah practicing, I was like, oh man, that's a harsh, that's a harsh word you got there, John. Yeah. Um, so remember, uh, that scripture interprets scripture so if we're gonna say hey i know him do you know yahweh Mm -hmm. yeah exactly what does he say there's a very famous scripture that scares the pants out of most believers (laughs) and that's when he they come up to yeshua and they say uh, um and he says to them many will say to me lord lord and i'm going to say to them i never knew you and I think the words he's using there tie directly into here. And he's saying, if you know him, you keep his commandments. And unfortunately, there are going to be people in, at the end, according to Yeshua's own words, that come to him and go, look, we did all this stuff. And I think that they, there are going to be some people that don't get to enter uh, rest with him. Or uh, definitely uh, there's some, maybe some level of rest or something And uh, there's definitely a difference between the people who know him and the people who just did a bunch of things in his name. Right. So it is something to make you pause uh, about what does he mean when he says, uh, many will come and say to me that they know me, but they don't. Right. And it's stuff like this that, I mean, it should humble you and get you realizing what he's talking about isn't a joke. This is serious stuff he's talking about. Um, and in that verse that you're talking about, which may be in one of the later sessions, we'll it see. It may be. Uh, you know, when he says, uh, you who, uh, doers of iniquity, right, is who mm-hmm. he's talking to. And What does who, iniquity mean? What right, is the... it's those who practice lawlessness, if you look up the word that he mm-hmm. uses there. So, uh, yes, we know him if we keep his commandments. He that says, I know him, and doesn't keep them is a liar. Yes, and we know where liars go. And so, no, 
listen, for new people looking at this going, holy cats, we should be keeping the Torah. Don't run around calling everyone dirty liars, okay? That's not, that's not what he's trying to tell you to do here. Uh, you, you may feel that way, but, <laughs> yeah. but remember, we were all at a point where we did that's not right. realize. That's right. So uh, just be careful. All right, number 10, Matthew nineteen seventeen, And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is Elohim. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So That's pretty clear. I don't see a lot of places where Yeshua is asked, how can I, this enter into life, we would call that what? Heaven. We would call that salvation, right? Yeah. yeah. He says, how can I be saved, basically? Mm -hmm. And he says, keep the commandments. Yeah. So if someone comes to you and asks you, how can I enter into life? What is this salvation you're offering, right? Well, the salvation is life through Messiah. Show it by keeping the commandments, mm -hmm. right? Um, otherwise, why do you need a Savior if you're not breaking commandments? Yeah. So this well, is it goes back to how do you show someone you love them by doing the things they like, you know, the things that they want, the things that make them happy. And our Father has clearly said following us following commandments makes him very happy right so it makes sense that we want to do that yeah i mean as the designer of life and how it's supposed to work out mm -hmm. he knows how to direct it i yeah. think um also this none good but but one that is elohim um yeah we, people aren't basically good right <laughs> because I mean, it says right here. Especially but, in traffic. That's true. They're really bad. Anyone that's been in traffic Anybody knows. that drives differently than the way I want them to drive is bad. Right. I've heard it said, uh, if you drive slower than me, you're an idiot. Mm -hmm. If you drive faster than me, you're crazy. Yeah, you're right? a maniac. <laughs> Something, yeah. yeah, that's right. Something to that extent. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, number 11, John fifteen ten. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. What were his Father's commandments? I think they're the Torah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, this but is where you'll get the his split. His commandments, because he is the Word made flesh. Right. It's my doctrine is not mine, but his who sent me, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, we have this... This weird phrase, abide in my love, right? And what is love? The love of Elohim Keeping is that you his keep his commandments. commandments, right? If you missed that, it's in the last, the last episode. So, uh, keep the commandments, you shall abide in my love. Now, uh, they'll say, well, we've got to keep Jesus' commandments, which is love the Father and love your neighbor, mm -hmm. Right? So it, which he's not is, saying anything different here. Which if you do that, you're following Torah. And that's right. what a lot of people don't understand is doing that. They're actually following Torah. Right. And then uh, I've had people get offended because I'll tell them that loving Yahweh is keeping the commandments. And then they'll get offended and say, you're saying that I don't love him. When really that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to mm -hmm. say, I know you love him. And if you keep the commandments, that's going to work out for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, if you want to show him you love him, keep the commandments. Yeah. And that's why I'm telling you, because I love you and I want you to, mm -hmm. to be able to, you know, show that. Okay. So this uh, one, this so, is a two slider here. Okay. So number 12, 2 Peter 2, 20 through 22. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Master and Savior Yeshua Messiah, they are again entangled therein and have overcome the latter, and is worse with them than the beginning. It goes on to say in Second Peter two twenty through twenty two, for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they've known it to turn from the holy command, the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. 
the dog is turned to its own vomit again in the sow that was washed to her wall wallering in the mire. Right. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Hey, jumping ahead there. Okay. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is a very, to me, this was one of the clearest pictures. It's, it's, he uses such good, uh, 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 you know, illustration here of you're washed, right? We all know the language of you're washed from your sins, right? Don't go back to sinning, right? The dog that is turning to its own vomit. It's, you threw it up, you got rid of it, and then you're going to go back to it? That's no way to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's interesting, both things here are unclean. The dog is unclean, the sow is unclean, and uh, And so, we're, we're unclean, mm -hmm. and we need a washing. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see this part here. Yeah, after you've escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of Yeshua Messiah, <clears throat> you're again entangled and overcome the latter end is worse than them at the beginning. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, now that you've seen it, you, you can't unsee, unsee it. it. <clears throat> yeah. Don't unsee it. That's so. true. That's good. Number 13, Revelation 1-9. I, John, who also am your brother, in companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom in patience of Yahusha Messiah, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of Elohim and for the testimony of Yeshua the Messiah. Yeshua the Messiah. So, this one is interesting here. <clears throat> He's saying, so John is obviously writing Revelation, right? And he's saying the island that, of Patmos. And John it says the right Revelator. there, I, John. Yep. So what was Patmos? It was an do island. You, and do you know what it was used it for? It was a prison. Yes, that's right. He's like, he, yeah. So why is John in prison? Because he's teaching the word of Elohim and the testimony of Yeshua Messiah. So it wasn't popular is what you're saying. Well, right. But the point is, He's not just teaching the testimony of Yeshua Messiah. He's teaching the word of Elohim also. Mm. And so you need both of those things. It's the don't add to, don't take away. It's the, um, you know, not one word of, mm. of the law will pass, mm -hmm. right? And we'll see kind of a theme here in the next few verses. Okay. Number 14, Revelation twelve seventeen. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which kept the commandments of Elohim and have the testimony of Yahushua the Messiah. Interesting, at the end of the book, it talks about keeping the commandments. I don't remember seeing that in my old walk. Right. So it's, again, it's this, there's two parts to it. The remnant of her seed now, when you read through Revelation 12, right, it's only these 17 verses long, but it's the dragon, who is Satan, right? And the woman, who gives birth and has a remnant, and her seed, which keeps the commandment of Elohim and the testimony of Yeshua Messiah. Just like John was saying, he got thrown in prison in Patmos for talking about the commandments and for the testimony. Mm -hmm. So we need both of those things, the yep. commandments and the testimony. And number 15, Revelation 14, 12, here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Elohim in the faith of Yahushua. So he kind of keeps saying it. It's like all over the place. Mm -hmm. The people that are the remnant, that are the, the ones Messiah returns for, the keeping, saints are the people keeping commandments of Elohim and the faith of Messiah. 16, Revelation 15, 3. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of Elohim, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Master Elohim Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. King of people that keep the commandments and the testimony of Messiah. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah. And so, uh, now before I got into Torah, the Song of Moses, that didn't mean anything to me. 
I don't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. But if you go back to Deuteronomy 32, that's the Song of Moses, it's very interesting. And it's a good song. And there's a YouTube channel called Zion Christian Press. For a second, Press. I thought you were like, I'm just going to sing the song. I was I like, oh, pass. great. Pass. Let's hear it. it. It is a fantastic song. There's a YouTube channel, Zion Christian Press, and they have the whole Song of Moses, and they sing it, and it's fantastic. So I recommend you go listen to it. Anyway, in the Song of Moses, it talks about keeping the commandments mm -hmm. and, and Yah being their their Elohim and not idols, which would have their own set of commands that you would keep, right? Mm -hmm. They would have their own rituals you would do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but mm -hmm. if Yahweh is your Elohim, you do what he says. Yeah. So. That's good. So, again, it's this, you need both the testimony of of messiah which is the song of the lamb and the commandments which is Mo song of moses all right well so that ends episode three of prove it right a commandments section commandment and we appreciate it if you give us a like share subscribe a comment maybe something to let us know that you did listen along the way and um, and look for this in a playlist in YouTube. If you're just listening online, there's other ways to find us. You can Google us. Um, what else, Jake? If I think we Facebook. I think we're <clears throat> kind of all over the place. If it has a streaming situation, then just type yep. our name in there, and you'll hopefully you'll find, find us. You'll find us. Find us at Sabbath Lounge. Well, this is Matt and Jake signing out. We appreciate you stopping by. Catch you next time.